The first is ablation. Ablation means to burn or cauterize. And so what they're doing is when they find endometriosis lesions um, attached to the surface, of, you know, an organ, they burn it down to the surface of that organ, leaving behind disease um, down underneath within the organ itself. This is where deep excision surgery is different from ablation because excise means to cut out. And so when they see that uh, diseased lesion of endometriosis on an organ, they're actually cutting down into that organ to remove all of that disease, um, which gives us a lot less um, chance for um, the disease and endometriosis to basically recur. There are recurrence rates for ablation surgery up to 80 some percent, whereas the recurrence rate on deep excision surgery is five to 19 percent. So you can see there's a pretty significant difference in the people who have ablation surgeries performed versus deep excision surgeries performed and the recurrence of d disease. Um, I don't have the numbers, but I'm sure if you were to look at the number of people who've had ablation surgery versus the people who've had deep excision from the start, you're going to see a significant difference in um, you know, category A, people who've had ablation surgery having to have multiple, multiple, multiple surgeries, which isn't great for any of us for a huge number of reasons. Um, and the obvious reason for that is because of the recurrence rate associated with it, because they're not truly removing all of dis the disease that's present. There's more I have to say on this, though. Let's talk about the fact that you do want a deep excision specialist to be performing this surgery. An endometriosis specialist is also sometimes what they're called. And this means that they've typically done fellowship training or ex other extended um, training to not only learn about the surgery itself to move, uh, remove, excuse me, endometriosis, treat endometriosis, but also just about the disease itself obvious reasons that's important. I personally do not believe that a, any general gyno should be working with or treating people with endometriosis. The disease is far too complex and they do not teach them. They don't even require them to learn enough about the disease of endometriosis um, for them to truly be treating us unless they have gone and done some extra training. The last and final um, note that I have to make here is that you do not want a diagnostic surgery or exploratory surgery. Those two things mean the exact same thing, and that means that they're going to do surgery to go in and identify um, endometriosis, have it tested through pathology, tell you you have endometriosis, but they didn't actually treat it while they were in there, meaning that they didn't actually go and seek for more and remove all of it, meaning that you now would have to have an additional surgery. Why not just do both at the same time if the disease is there? That's my thought. Why are we putting women through more surgery than they need to be going through or people, excuse me, with pelvic pain?